You know, he was legendary for that. You know, it wasn't just once. He sliced his shoulder open with the buzzsaw in his stomach. He fucking slashed his face. He slashed Angus's face. It was awesome. And then we get to Final Wars. They kind of pussied out on us with just all slashing. Got those fucking double chainsaws. And nothing happened with sparks. Like, really? You went beyond the pussy level of Tokyo SOS. You could at least have fucking skin fly off. Like you did in SOS at least, but no, nothing. I'm like, so if they, if the fucking chainsaw can't cut guts open, what the fuck? How are they possibly gonna win? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Moving away from that, Gigan was the shit. Is half the reason why I even liked the movie at all. When normally I would just fucking despise the shit out of this one, because then we get to one of the worst things about this movie: fucking King Ghidorah. Well, when you read this on paper, it sounds fucking kind of okay, you know. Godzilla and Anger's tag team match versus fucking Gigan and King fucking Ghidorah. King Ghidorah was like basically one of my favorite monsters ever. And every time he's been in a movie, it's always been one of the fucking good ones. But here they completely fucked that up. And the funny thing is, people say that this is the same suit from uh, Destroy All Monsters and the original Ghidra. Either it is, and it has considerable wear and tear, or... Me personally, I believe it's a different fucking suit. Because what the hell, dude? This, there's so much wrong with King Ghidorah in this fucking movie. First off, the budget was just fucking slash for him. Like, shit, dude. King Ghidorah is known for a very fucking badass presence. You see him. You know, the, the necks have a lot of energy. They're moving around. His whole body is moving around a lot. The tails are wiggling around. He has those enormous wings. You know, he's, he's a wild looking thing like and magnificent King Ghidorah looks like shit in this movie he's far too statue like literally literally like, I mean let me just delve into this because it really pissed me off when I saw it like really because normally the, in the past the movies where he showed up he's flying you know it looks great the wings are flapping his legs are kind of kicking around his tail is moving the necks are of course moving and in this movie they really fucked it up King Ghidorah flying is literally just a stiff fucking model. I mean, for Gigan flying, it makes sense because he has no wings, so I don't know how the fuck he flies at all, but the point is, that makes sense for him. You know, he doesn't have wings or any body appendages that will be moving around as he flies. King Ghidorah, what the fuck? If you're going to have a stiff-ass, basically a toy, let's be real, a toy of King Ghidorah on a string, and say it's King Ghidorah flying, you're just going to piss me off. Like, really? That's not King Ghidorah. It's a fucking toy. You're just p pulling on a fucking string. Nothing is moving. His wings aren't moving. His necks aren't moving. His tail, his legs aren't kicking around like he usually does when he flies. It's just stiff as fuck. That pissed me off. And then the same thing happens when he's on the ground. Even with a close-up shot of the suit itself, he's just sitting there, not really doing much. And then the worst part, worst part about it is, you know, King Ghidorah has that luscious, irradiant, radiant-looking, uh, Scales which have a nice glow to them. They really look great, especially in uh, Invasion of Astro Monster. That that gold coloring looked fabulous. Here he looks all faded. It's barely even gold. It's like a pale fucking yellow. He's almost fucking white. It looks like shit. I'm sorry I cursed so much in this one, but it really pissed me off. Like King Ghidorah just looks like shit in here. He's stiff. He's fucking the suit's faded. When he fucking flies, it looks like a fucking rock just being tossed through the air. Like what the fuck? And then to top it all off, he's barely, he literally looks like shit. And then to make things worse, 90% of his fucking screen time is goddamn stock footage. Literal stock footage. I mean, they use shit from Destroy All Monsters, Godzilla vs. I mean, Invasion of Astro Monster. They just use abuse at all. And the sad part is, as people have noted, the stock footage is so bad, it goes from daytime to nighttime on a fucking whim. Godzilla and fucking King Ghidorah fight in the nighttime at this. The whole fight takes place at night. Yeah, we have fucking daytime shots from fucking Ghidra the Haired Monster. What? Really? Really? You think no one's gonna notice that? Why? Just make the fight shorter. If, if, if it's gonna be that blatantly obvious that you didn't film new material for this movie, the least you could do is keep it consistent. But daytime shots at night? Really? Really? Just what the hell? <laughs> It's just, dude, you're not even trying. And it's just, yeah, that was just retarded. <sighs> I mean, to me, basically, some of this movie, the only good thing about it 
was fucking Gigan. If you had put any other monster in there besides Gigan, I would have just been fucking furious. Like, this is a complete fucking shit fest. Yeah. Yeah. So, that being said, that being said, uh, let's move on to the last thing to possibly use to talk about this movie, and that would be the music. The music is not brand new at all. In fact, it's all stock scores from the previous Godzilla movies, if it could be only, though, and other non-Godzilla movies. So, therefore, I mean, the music was, like, okay. I, lo I love Ifakube. I love Ifakube. The fact this movie didn't have original music did kind of piss me off, but at the same time, we had Ifakube playing in the background. So, you know what? It made it more watchable. And I just say that one last thing I, n I definitely want to note is that at least they tried to add little things in there. Like, when King Ghidorah and Godzilla first meet at the city... Godzilla and King Ghidorah kind of stare at each other for a little bit, and you hear that nice theme from uh, Mothra vs. Godzilla playing, so it's pretty clear they remember each other, which is good, you know, some acknowledgement there, but that's where the fucking, you know, attention to detail ends. Well, the whole film didn't pay attention to detail, but you get what I'm saying. So this is one of those movies, uh, I would definitely give this like a rough 5.9 slash 6 out of 10. You can go with whichever one of those you want. I, I'm DB, I rated it a 6 out of 10, like I said, just for the sake of Gigan, but this is one of the lowest Godzilla movies for me. I mean, this is one of those ones that, and I say it sounds harsh, but as a fan, when I have kids someday, because that's one of the things I'm looking forward to having kids, not just because I want to watch them grow, I want to show them my shit that I like, I want to show them Godzilla, and to me, along with Godzilla's Megalon and Godzilla's Revenge, this will be one of those Godzilla movies I'm make them watch until they're older to understand the concept of stock footage because I don't want them to be confused as shit. <laughs> no one wants to be confused and I was very confused as a kid like what the hell is going on here? <laughs> but yeah, uh, Josh out. Uh, see you next time guys.